I'm Jim Wofford. I'm going to give you a guided tour around the cross-country course here at the Kentucky Horse Park for the Rolex 2016 Kentucky three-day event. As they come down to the head of the lake, there will be an enormous crowd here. Most of the horses and riders will jump in slightly on the left-hand side. They'll turn through the water and the fence there at the B element, there is a danger of ducking out. Here you see a cabin at 11B, which means that the horse and rider can go a long way around and jump slightly simpler fences. 12AB is a bounce up out of water. That's a very physical exercise. The horse has to jump twice on the same breath, which will take a little bit of something out of the horse. We're at another signature fence on the course, the hollow 16A. B and C. Once again, the course designer is encouraging the horse and rider to gallop forward and jump very, very narrow jumps off a forward stride. This takes a lot of training. It also takes courage, balance, and fitness from horse and rider. In effect, you are galloping down a balance beam as if you were in a gymnastics competition, except that you're doing it at a much higher rate of speed on a horse that weighs over a thousand pounds. The 17th fence here, both of these tables are identical. The rider can choose which one they want to jump. They're both the same size, they're both the same shape. I'm telling my riders, look, if you go later in the day, you should go to the one where the footing is better in front because jumping off a good footing takes less out of the horse than jumping out of mud. Now quite a difficult new combination, a very simple drop into water, uh, but then there is a sharp turn to the left. You have to avoid the little plant there that the course designer has very skillfully placed. There you can see it on the right hand side. You have to jump between the white flags and inside the red flag. If you go the long way, you have to jump inside the white flag and the two red flags here they will control their speed a little bit at the park crossing one stride down to the ditch two strides back up to a very very narrow brush at the sea element you see mark todd sir mark todd double gold medalist leaning up against that log eric duvander here in front jock pageant and blythe tate another gold medalist for the new zealand team walking across the ditch the last water jump on the course, 26 A and B. Most of the riders will jump the hedge, land, turn inside that ornamental duck, use the duck almost for a fence line and turn back up the hill to jump the B element. Coming up the last of these slopes that are so fatiguing to the horse. Now, the horse and rider will choose. They can jump down the right-hand side if their horse is honest about their right shoulder. They can jump down the left-hand side, but the premium here is on the rider knowing their horse's strengths and weaknesses. In my view, the course designer has actually made the course a little easier if you know your horse. So the premium is on horsemanship, knowledge of your partner, and making intelligent selections.